Hey everybody, welcome back to Some Things Fishy. Today we have some sad news for you. Our clownfish that we had named Cat actually got some sort of fungal infection. Uh, we weren't sure at first if it was maybe a parasite or a bacterial infection, uh, but if you look right there on the lower abdomen area, for lack of better words, on the clownfish, you can see a little bit of a spot. It started out really small, as you can see here, and then it started to grow. There's some white, almost streaks coming out of it, and we weren't really sure what to do. So we, we looked on the internet, we, we did some uh, research. We wanted to create this video to give you as the viewer a simple guide to knowing what it takes to help your fish survive from a fungal infection or any other infection in that matter. We just want you to know what the process kind of looks like and how you can help your fish survive. When buying fish online and even at a lot of fish stores, this can be a pretty common thing, um, especially when fish are being bred both you know, in the wild or uh, in captivity. So we wanted to make some dynamic content for you guys to know exactly what you can do to help your fish if it does happen to have some sort of fungal infection like ours did. So the most important thing is you need to catch this early. Look at your fish every day, take a good look at them, get in close and see if everything's okay. If we would have looked at our clownfish right there at this moment and noticed that there was really something wrong, we could have possibly done something. By the time we really noticed that something was going on, it was just a little bit too late. And uh, it was really sad to see that he had to go through this and it ended up really actually taking his life in the end. The next most important thing that you can do is get a fish remedy as soon as possible. If you catch this early, you'll have just enough time to get a fish remedy to for shipping and everything to come in. If you're planning on spending a lot of money on fish anyways, you should just have these handy because this will happen. Once you receive your fish remedy, the third thing to do is start medicating your fish. It's important to keep in mind that medicating your fish can have a really big effect on your, the overall chemistry of your tank. You can kill your fish, kill your coral, and, and have other dramatic consequences to your tank by putting in some of these remedies and other medications. So if you're looking to spend some big money on fish, you might wanna have a separate tank, a smaller tank on the side that you can use as a medication tank if any of your fish do happen to have fungal infections or any other sort of uh, issues going on. Hey everybody, thanks again for joining us on Some Things Fishy. Sitting here with the dog Fisher, taking a little nap. We hope that things work a little bit better for your fish with whatever infection or disease or whatever's going on with them. We hope that this simple guide helps you help them. My name's Landon. Drop a like, subscribe. We'd love to see you again on our next videos.